I'm back with my project. I'm so excited. This is just one of the ones that is going in my window and I just wanted to tell you about it as quickly as I can and get it done and get it shown. So what I decided and thought that I wanted to do was to have um, these two windows. You can see this cute old window. I thought I could have two side by side hanging in my window. So it's kind of like a cute window on a plain window. Um, it's still gonna let in light, but it's gonna give me a little bit of camouflage and a little bit of privacy. I think it's gonna be super cute. So I found these two matching windows. They're totally old. I did nothing to them but clean them. Okay, I wanted them clean. I love just the chippy paint. I love the staining and the, you know, it is just the way it is and I love it and it's exactly how I want it. So what I did, I got one in already, and so I'm gonna show you the process, and if you don't wanna see the process, if you just wanna see the before and afters, then skip to the end of this video, because this is gonna show you the way I chose to do this. And I'll be honest, I might've chose a different way after I got doing this. Now, I love how it ended up, it's clean, it's not, doesn't show very much, so I do love it. I really gave it some good thought, and this is what I came up with. Um, but I might, and I'll get to a point where I'll show you or something I might do differently. So for starters, I got these little package of grommets or little hardware or whatever. That's what I used. So my little darling daughter Lizzie's helping me and I'm gonna show you what it is out of the package. So out of the package, it's got two little holes and the wire that I got is the, the size to fit right in those holes. So I did a pre-drill of my window and I put this little, I guess it's like a screw type thing, but it has a circle at the top. I'm sure it has a name. It was on the package, I don't remember. I just knew that's what I wanted. So it's a complete total circle, screws in. It's really secure. It's gonna hold this with no problem. I did the exact same thing at the top of my window, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So there, I mashed them up, I measured the width from this grommet or whatever it is to this ring right here, um, and I hooked up my wire with these little things. So that wasn't too bad. Um, once you get the correct tools, I'm gonna use it right now, like you really need this a good pair of wire cutters. The pair that I had were little chintzy ones, they weren't cutting it, and I was getting a little frustrated. So a sweet neighbor borrowed me these, they're fabulous. So here's what you do. I happened to get this one in and got that one in, and what, I'm gonna, what I did from the um, little circle thing, out 10 inches, I marked that. And now you're gonna cut that, and with these puppies, you have to have just right in the middle, right on that line, good pressure and cut. Okay, it's gotta be quick, it can't be any sawing motion because you need this puppy to be really clean. This cut needs to be really clean. And then it goes in this little guy right here. So it goes in there, boom. Now I'm just gonna show you on this piece of wire that I just cut, because getting it up and videoing up at the top of the ceiling ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be fun. That's where it got hard. Putting them on down here, and I'll show you, it was really quite easy. You put it in the one hole, and you have to just make sure the cut's really clean. So you put it in one hole, goes up like that, and then you get it long enough, and you bend it back down in the other hole. If I could see here, okay, pretty easy makes that little loop and you're gonna put that obviously through there. And then I like to pull the long end down and you want the short end to just barely be poking out, even less than that. You want it to just barely, boop, right there. Okay, and then I didn't want my circle this big, right? So I need to pull the long end down while holding the little end in. And I want it about like that. You can see how big that is. Perfect, and then you need to take some good pliers or wire cutters or whatever you're gonna use and you pinch this bad boy shut. And that holds that like that, okay? Now right here, that was easy. No big deal, got it done, boom, almost by myself. But then, when I wanted to do the same thing up at the top, 
you can imagine. It was a kind of tricky. <laughs> we got it done with a couple of choice words, and it was only about 10 minutes, but 10 minutes of choice words, right? If I were to do this differently, if I were you, I would get this one on, then at the end of this, I would do this on a hook that you can just boop and hook up there when you're done, and then you can unhook it and take it off whenever you want to. That would have been easy because we could have done this little job right here on the floor and it would have been a piece of cake, but we didn't. So I'm gonna finish it the hard way and I will come back and I will show you when it's done. But that is what we're doing today. And I do recommend it. I love the look. It's super clean, gets the job done. You can't really see it from the street. Like it's just thin and beautiful and sleek. So I do like it. And I'm going to show you now what it looks like when both of them are up. Okay, it's done. Can you see it? Oh my goodness. Okay, it's exactly how I pictured. It's exactly what I want. I'm so happy about it. It really didn't take that long, but getting these puppies hooked up here just perfectly, ugh, it was a minute of uncomfortable pain. It was just you know, juggling, one person holding, one person, it, it, it was just a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. So, like I said, if I were you, I would probably do it all on the ground and then put a hook so we can hook it up here. But we're gonna come in close and we're gonna see what it really does look like done. And it is really sleek and I really do like it. It was just a moment of a little bit of stress. So, up here, come up and take a look at how clean these look. Those were screwed in. I measured, marked. I have to actually touch up a couple marks I made. I measured and marked the exact width of my little screws that I put in. I put those in at a good place because the window's a little old and I wanted to make sure I had them securely in. So once these were in, I measured between them and marked up here, okay? And then I measured this one about an inch further than this one because one's in the front and one's in the back. And on these particular windows, you couldn't go right through the middle because they have these metal things right here. So I put one in the back, one in the front, and I was kind of wondering how I was gonna do that, and then I was like, duh, do it this way. And it worked out. It worked out exactly how I wanted. So there's no, they're not you know, forward or backward or crooked or skiwampus, they're just perfect. So that was good. I measured these all exactly. I got that little thing right at the very edge. They're pretty dang perfect um, and they're gonna be so fun. So that's what I'm doing with these. And look how lovely. We can still shut the curtains in front and we can do lots of fun things on these windows. So I want to show you one thing, one trick, one hint, and then we're gonna do many others. But one thing, I just wanna show you how cute this is gonna be. So this, let's say, is Valentine's. Look how cute if we hang something cute, a cute wreath, a cute decoration. And I'll put one on each and I can change those with the seasons. That melts my heart, I love it so much. So I got these at um, Joann's last week, 70% off. So we gotta watch for sales. When you get a chance for sales, get them. Cause I got a couple other fun things too that I'm not showing you. So we're gonna do Christmas on here next. So come back and I'll see you then.